the feeling is awesome. You see this only on TV and now we're actually seeing it live and it's fan flip fantastic. Okay, so this is my neck here. Put it around like this. Okay, there we go. And then I just have to shove this for extra support. This is probably the hardest part. See, if I don't tie it tight, then it'll move about because you can see it's quite wobbly on my head. So what's really hard about this is that I have no one to help me. So I can only use my senses <laughs> of feeling around and also the help of those around me. Gorgeous. I am the African queen. Cape Town City has got a fantastic energy. It's such a cosmopolitan city and there's so many different cultures intertwined. I mean, this truly is the melting pot of Africa. For the Cape Town Carnival, I've decided to use a blend of a bit of the old cu cultural movements as well as the new hip hop and relaxed style. We've taken the school children, the flower sellers, the fashionistas, we've taken all the movement, taken the funk, the vibe, energies, and we've created dance. There's a lot of parts of Africa that are like big aloe fields, and so we're trying to bring that into this. It's a very hard and pointy kind of plant. So it's like, so our thing is to try and make it not look aggressive. It's just going big. I'm thinking Dragon Ball Z kind of feel. 
each leaf is hand sculpted and then we place it onto like a backpack rigs that we built. Lightweight, not too heavy, so I'll be able to deal. For our king, it's like we want to give him size and strength. He's going to be big, he's going to be twice the size of any of the other people. And then for the queen, we want to soften her up, like soft and beautiful flower up on top of this float. or the, the fa fragrant spices, but the Indian dancing, the food, the culture as it is. three elements coming together today. The puppet or float itself, which is a giant puppet, the puppeteers and operators, and the drummers who are bringing the beat. So this is their first opportunity to get together and all become one. Key to a carnival is the music and the movement and the magic between the two. Um, so with the reggae samba that we're playing, it's about uh, ensuring that there's a life energy in the crocodile. Cha 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 voom, cha 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 voom, ba da ba ba da ba ba da da voom. And that's what we call the Ola Dome.
when you dance flamenco, you have to be into it. You can't just dance. You have to express what you're feeling. Groups that are dancing with us, you feed off their energy and you get their excitement. So it becomes less about the technicalities and more about the, the passion and excitement to actually be part of something bigger than just dancers in studios. We get to dance with professional, yeah. so that's a great experience by itself. We wanted this to fit in with the flow of what the Flamingo Float is about. So we wanted to have this graceful feature, you know, and also this very well-timed little dance, almost to say, to go with the dancers that's working. I want to see the learners enjoy themselves. I want to see them entertain the audience and make this an uh, experience of a lifetime. Maasai float is actually resembling the traditional Maasai people plus the traditional Zulu people. When you look at it, um, it resembles the ring. Uh, rings represent unity. This has been made out of recycled materials. As you can see, we've got bottle tops and things like that. There is a trampoline uh, in the middle. The Maasai, look at them, they've got that ancient Africanness with them. And we feel the bounce together, it's called the African rhythm of the African spirit. Bounce, 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 African with me. Nós viemos do Carnaval do Rio, no Brasil. E trazemos para vocês o espírito do samba. Jungle is all about vibrance, energy, color. We used plant shapes, insect shapes to get the designs, both for the makeup and for the costume designs. So the two tie in very nicely together. My color scheme was basically, the brief was to match the costumes. Uh, the gold was a little bit of artistic license just to make the thing stand out a bit more. The body paint, um, the costume, the head pieces, all of it tying it together is to just create that total wow factor.
the dance is called Gambo dance because of what they were wearing. The structure of the dance is passion and rhythm from homes when the guys used to go to the mines and when they didn't have anything to do and they are bored, they created this dance called Gambo dance. Because all they had was the gumboots and the avaros and the helmets for safety. So they couldn't take out the avaros and do the African dance like they used to do. There was no shields and there was no spears or anything what they used to. So they created this. This was home far away from home. It's a pleasure speaking to Janet and meeting her and hearing her point of view as to what all the seamstresses do as to making the costumes and just taking yourself outside the box and thinking about all the work and effort that goes into making these costumes, like we wearing the costumes but all the energy and passion that goes into making it is really something amazing. The headpiece takes long. Because I mean, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. to do the hand sewing on that takes about so hand wow. hand sew. Yes, that yeah. is hand sewn to the wow. stuff with filling. Yeah. And then it's mm -hmm. so on it. Well, when I saw it together, I immediately thought Aladdin. Who doesn't love Aladdin? They all want to be Aladdin when you're younger, and I get to be that Aladdin on the nights. It's something different. Mm. And when it's done, you can see it's alive. This pyramid is intended to convey connection between people and what we can accomplish together. It's more of a energetic pyramid than a physical pyramid. We're using a lot of um, synchronized LED illumination on the pyramid, which is impressive and uh, attractive and spectacular and points of light, but it's also there for a reason. We want to be re representing a networked connection, representing a technological future, representing the relationship between people and the individual and what we create through technology. So when the Egyptian queen or goddess rises up to the top, she's really representing the pinnacle of that futuristic technology.